Hey everyone, a pleasant good afternoon. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be the Boston Celtics team preview. The Celtics, of course, coming off of a great season last year of winning 48 games and not need to show vast improvement at all. They But they did. They got some key additions, which were Jeff Teague to back up Kemba Walker so he can rest his knees a little bit, who still has a lot left in his legs, in my opinion, as a backup point guard, and he's going to have a lot around him on the Boston Celtics to play with, so Jeff Teague's definitely in a good position there. They got Kemba Walker, of course, aforementioned, a guy that's an absolute beast on the court when healthy, and he's going to come back and be healthy. He averages around 20 points a game and gets you at least around four rebounds and around five assists a game. This guy is an elite point guard, and he's going to show up and show out on the Celtics. And getting Jeff Teague just helps him to have less minutes because now they don't just have young guys like uh, Wooders or Pritchard as the only backups or Carson Edwards, who the Sixers traded to them in the draft. So that is key for them. They, of course, uh, were able to add a guy in Tristan Thompson who defends the rim very well and is a very good, uh, obviously, defender down low. He's not going to give you much on the other end, but at least he's able to help them defend. But they are going to need Robert Williams, obviously, uh, to potentially uh, mean something if Daniel Theis doesn't step up. That's a key. So one of those two guys is going to need to obviously make an impact for the Celtics down low because they can't just have Tristan Thompson obviously step up down low and taco fall more has just been a great story so far that's got into better shape this year per reports from watching the game the other night they were saying on the telecast but we need to see something out of him to say anything about him so thompson's really the most proven guy down low and robert williams can definitely be something and so can daniel thice but it's going to be more of who emerges out of those guys to play down low but I think this team is just going to keep on rocking and rolling. Jason Tatum is, of course, a great player with Jalen Brown. They have one of the better starting fives in basketball. They have one of the better four-core in basketball. Smart's an underrated player. They got Kemba Walker, they got Jalen Brown, and they got Jason Tatum. That's a pretty good damn four players. And that is going to take them to another top three finish as far as I'm concerned in the east and i know when i looked earlier at 538 they said the celtics had a 98 percent chance of making the playoffs that's at least uh, i think they pretty much have a hundred percent chance of making the playoffs this team is going to get it done even with kemba not in right away as soon as he comes in they're going to hit it right away and they're going to hit it right away without him because they got guys they got jeff teague was a good addition smart can play some point guard and then Pritchard had a good preseason, so maybe he can step up a bit for you, or you can have Waters or Langford step up, or a Carson Edwards as well. So whoever is able to step up there will be key. And then again, down low, they need either Daniel Theis or a Williams, a Grant Williams, or a Robert Williams to step up, more likely Robert Williams, to be able to be there with Tristan Thompson, because Tristan Thompson is just a good key addition to do something on defense where hopefully maybe you could have more offensive rebounding and put back opportunities from guys like a Williams or a Thice if you're a Celtics fan. But this team is going to continue to score. They're going to continue to get done on the defensive end. They have one of the best coaches in basketball in Brad Stevens. So there's absolutely no concern for the Celtics. They're going to make the postseason. They're going to be one of the better teams in basketball again. In terms of their championship percentage, I think that's pretty high. I do not think that's 98 to 100%. I think that is more at a 75 to 80% chance of winning the championship. I mean, we'll see when we get on to the predictions for the Lake Show, the Clippers, and some other teams along those lines down the line. But I think that's about at 75 or 80% because there's a good cream of the crop team for the championship this year. But this has been Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this has been the Boston Celtics team projection. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everyone. I believe the Celtics, again, are going to finish top three in the East, and they will get around the 44-46 to 46 win tile in a 72-game season again instead of an 82-game season. So peace out, everybody. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, and please like, comment, and subscribe down below. Peace.